Welcome to Array.of. The Array.of method creates a new array instance from a variable number of arguments, regardless of number or type of the arguments. The difference between Array.of and the Array constructor is in the handling of integer arguments. Array.of creates an array with the single element 7, whereas Array constructor 7 creates an empty array with a length property of 7. Note, this implies an array of 7 empty, empty slots not slots with actual undefined values. So, just to demonstrate, let's do this. Array 7, what does that give us? Just empty values, right? So you might ask, what is that undefined, right? Whatever, let's just, so let's just store it. We'll just say R1 equals array of 7. And now let's say R1, 0. Undefined, right? Empty. And now let's try out a few of these. So basically, array.of is similar to array.from, except for it is just going to, it's not going to assume anything. It's just going to fill it up with whatever you put in there. So if we do an array.of of just my name, Theo, it's not going to try and splat this. Rather, it's just going to fill up index 0 with my name. Now, similarly, if we do array.from of document, Sorry, if we do something like this, let's just see what happens. Document dot query selector all of link. You might wonder, what are we going to get? Well, in this case, we're just going to get a node list. And what would be the difference here? Node array dot from. Well, in this case, what you're going to get here is an actual array. This is not array dot of is not going to try and coerce the data type, rather just put it in a box, array.of. If you're familiar with the concept of functional programming, you might see have seen this of function before, which is literally uh, sort of to enclose or to put it in a box to make it more easily manipulative or easy, more easily malleable, I mean to say. So let's try one more thing, but if we give it an object, you might wonder, well, in that case, it still accepts it. However, if we look at array.from, because this is expecting array like, it will just return back to us an empty array. So, what is the polyfill for this? Let's look at this. So basically it's saying if the array.of, we're doing this feature check, array.of equals a function that returns slicing of a new array with the arguments, right? So in the same way, if we do rate of prototype dot slice dot call, and what do we want as our this arguments, right? We could give it an object. You could give it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But um, we call it right with whatever you want. That's going to indeed actually just call it with that. So a little bit different because this is going to try and spread them out, whereas array dot of again is meant more for uh, number integer data types and actual uh, values not necessarily characters specifically but yes so I hope you guys enjoy this video next up will be array.prototype.concat see you guys in the next one